Hi loves, welcome back. Today is a hamstrings focused flow and we are starting off on our backs today. Begin to make your way there and just get nice and comfortable within your space. I encourage you to close your eyes. And begin to settle into your space as you transition from whatever you had going on prior to stepping onto your mat to now fully focus on your personal practice. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, open mouth release. Open your eyes if they are still closed. Come to waterfall pose. Extend both your legs straight up towards the sky. Ground down through your low spine as you lift through your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Begin to lower the right leg down to a hover. And as you inhale, bring that right leg back up. Exhale, left leg goes down to a hover. Inhale, lift back up. And continue this back and forth motion with your legs paired with your breath. Do this five times on each side. Once you're finished, you'll come back to waterfall pose. Then take five circles with your legs on each side. So your right leg will fall out towards the right side. Then bring the right leg towards the front of your space and lift the right leg back up into waterfall. So taking this leg and hip circle five times on both sides. Remember, ground down through your spine, press your palms into the mat, engage your core, and maintain your breath. When you're ready, come back into waterfall and then release your right knee to your chest. Extend the left leg long down to the mat. Hands are on your right knee or shin. Bring that right knee close to your chest and body. Deep inhale. And exhale. Release the right leg down long. Switch it out. Left knee comes to your chest. Deep inhale. Squeeze it tighter. And exhale. This time, come to a tiny ball. Bring the right knee back to the chest. And rock yourself forward, meeting in a tabletop position. Once you get there, go right into your cow and cat movements. As you inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat, round through the spine, push the ground away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Take a couple more rounds going with your own breath and pace, or take any other organic movements that would feel good for your spine and body. Make this feel really good for your spine and body. Really accentuate those movements. Give back to yourself. Now come back to your tabletop. Then lift the palms off the mat. Come to your shins. Hands to hips. Extend the right leg out to the right side. So step the right foot out. 
As you inhale, reach your arms high above your head. Exhale, gates pose to right palm to right shin. Left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the right leg back down. Switch it out. Extend your left leg to the left side. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, left palm to left shin. Right arm reaches up and over. Ground down through that right shin. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release to tabletop. Inhale, flip the toes. Exhale, lift the hips, downward dog. Now just take a couple moments to bring some movement into your legs. Maybe pedal out the legs or bend both of your knees at the same time as you bring them close to your chest. Take whatever for just a second here. Come back to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, shift forward into your high plank. Exhale, push back into your downward dog. Two more. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Maintain that hollow body. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. This time on the exhale, lower to belly. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. As you inhale, reach your right leg all the way up. And as you exhale, take some hip circles here. Your leg can stay straight and take the variation we took earlier, or you can bend through that right knee, whatever would feel good. Take a few rounds, and after you do so, then step that right foot between your palms into a low lunge. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Make sure that right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Inhale, reach those arms high above your head, modified crescent lunge. Exhale, bring your hands on top of your right knee. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, half splits, straighten out your right leg. Come to your fingertips or palms, shift those hips back slightly. On your next inhale, shift back into your modified crescent lunge. Right knee bends, arms high above your head. And exhale, shift into your half splits once again. On your inhale, shift forward, come back to your modified crescent lunge, reach those arms up. And exhale, shift back, half splits. Great job. Now, inhale, shift forward, plant your hands around your right foot, bring the left knee off the mat, exhale, low lunge. Ground down through your feet. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach those arms high above your head. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Right leg stays the same. Spin your left foot down and open. Arms are at a T. Right heel is in line with the arch of your left foot. Inhale, straighten out your right leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Right palm to right shin, left arm reaches up. You can take an arm bind in your triangle pose if you would like by wrapping that arm around your low spine and reaching for your right hip. Come back to your warrior two. Bend your right knee, arms are long at a T. As you inhale, shift into your crescent lunge. Left foot spins forward, reach those arms high above your head. And exhale. 
Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, plant your hands around your right foot. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower to belly. Inhale, lift, cobra. Exhale, push back into your down dog. Now for the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, take those hip circles, whether the knee is bent or the leg is straight. And once you've taken a few, then bring that leg back through center. Step the left foot between your palms. Come to a low lunge. Drop the right knee down. As you inhale, modified crescent lunge. Reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, plant your hands on top of one another on your left knee. Here for a moment. On your inhale, reach your arms high above your head and exhale, half split, straighten out that left leg, shift back, come to your fingertips or your palms, aim for a nice straight spine, so avoid rounding through your back, breathe through it. On your next inhale, shift forward, bend your left knee, reach the arms up, modified lunge. Exhale, half splits. Go right back into it. Hold here for a moment. Before you then inhale, shift forward, come back to your modified lunge. And exhale, last one, half splits. Inhale, shift forward, plant your hands around your left foot. Exhale, right knee comes off the mat. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. And exhale. Inhale, lift through your fingertips. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Bring those arms to a T. Check your stance, keep that left knee bent, ground down through both of your feet. Inhale, straighten out that left leg and exhale, triangle. Left palm to left shin, reach that right arm up. Take the arm bind here if you would like. You can wrap around your low spine. Release out of the arm bind if you took it. Come back into your warrior two. Bend the left knee, arms at a T. Then as you inhale, shift forward into your crescent lunge. So spin the right foot forward, lift the arms up. As you exhale, plant your hands, frame your left foot. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower to belly. Bring those elbows towards your rib cage. Inhale, press into your palms. Lift the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Inhale, come to the tops of your toes. Look between your hands. Exhale, walk your feet towards your palms into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, nice long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Come to a seat, make your way into a seated wide straddle. Once you're there, bend through your left knee, bring that left foot towards the inside of your right thigh. Lengthen through your spine. Inhale, reach your arms up. Face towards your right leg. Exhale, fold forward. Grab towards your foot and toes. Now lift yourself back up and switch the legs out. So left leg is extended out long. 
right knee bends bring that right foot towards the inside of your left thigh as you inhale reach the arms up face towards your left leg exhale hinge at the hips fold forward slowly lift yourself back up then come to a full seated wide straddle so both your legs are out to the side inhale reach the arms up exhale walk your palms down the middle go as far as what feels good for you and your body so maybe you come to your palms maybe you come to your forearms or maybe you come to your belly and again you shouldn't feel pain here you should never feel pain when we are doing these poses And when you're ready, lift yourself back up. Bring your legs close together. Preparing for boat pose. So you'll bend through both of your knees, have your feet on the mat. Then take a hold of both of your heels. And then extend one leg straight up towards the sky at a time. And engage your core as you do so. This is like a half boat pose. And then if you wanna try the full variation of a boat, you can then lift both your legs at the same time or one at a time and bring the feet together, lift through your chest, ground down through your tailbone, lengthen through your spine. And slowly release out and you can either take that again or you can take a seated wide straddle so instead of extending your legs straight up close together you can open your legs out wide still holding on to your heels and then releasing out whenever you are ready meeting in a tabletop position then lift yourself onto your shins and step your right foot forward come to a low lunge then come to your half splits straighten out that right leg shift back and either stay here and work on your hamstring flexibility or if you'd like to take this a little deeper, you can move that right heel forward as the left leg extends long back into your full splits pose. Remember to be mindful. Only go as deep in this pose as to where you feel discomfort but not pain. Begin to slowly come out of your right splits. Move the right leg back into your tabletop. Switching to the left side, step the left foot forward into your low lunge. Straighten out the left leg into your half splits. And either stay here and breathe through the pose or drop down into your splits however deep you may go on this side. One side may feel a lot tighter than the other and that is completely normal and very common. For me, my left side is a little bit tighter than my right. Begin to slowly come out of your splits and make your way onto your back. Come to a tiny ball, bring both of your knees close to your chest, hands wrapped around your shins, rock side to side for just a moment. Then bring your arms out at a T, have your knees stacked over your hips. As you inhale, scoot your hips over to the left side a little bit. 
Then exhale, let your legs fall over to the right, gazes to the left, supine twist with both legs. Now they can be on top of one another or staggered. As you inhale, come back to center, shift the hips over to the right. Before you exhale, let the legs fall to the left. Shift the gaze to the right side. As you inhale, bring your legs back to center. And exhale, extend both your legs straight up towards the sky and slowly lower your legs down to your mat. Come into your Shavasana pose. Gently close the eyes and let yourself fully relax. We've done a lot of hamstring stretches, gave our body some love with movement. Give yourself some love and gratitude and be fully present in this moment. And when it's time to come out of this pose, I will gently guide you. Bring awareness back into your body. Wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Take a full body stretch. Reach your arms high above your head. Reach through your toes and your fingertips. And release the arms back down. Come to a tiny ball. Rock side to side. Then rock and roll the length of your mat. Roll into a seated position or get there whatever way is easiest for you. Bring your palms together at your heart center. Ground down through your tailbone. Lengthen through your spine. Ending class with one breath together. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, palms come to touch down to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this flow and please subscribe to support me.